What's going on y'all? This is your girl, the Mad Queen 88, coming at y'all with a State of Decay 2 series, brand new to my channel. Um, we're starting off in the dread mode, uh, random survivors, and the only stipulation to this series is no vehicles. We're going to do everything on foot. Um, we're starting off in Mayor County, I believe that's the name of the map. And we're gonna see um, how long before my community gets wiped out by only doing things on foot um, and also doing it on the dread mode difficulty. So let's get into it. And we're empty, again. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I made enough noise to alert half the town. I got a better idea. We could just settle down here, instead of moving on. I admit, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. Now that you mention it, it does feel kinda homey. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible, maybe with some room to expand. Alright you guys, here we go here in mayor county and the first thing we're gonna do is empty this trunk and i'm happy that we have the ability to just hand over rucksacks uh, because otherwise it'd be kind of difficult trying to uh bring resources with us when we don't have the ability to have a car so again so many things have changed with the new difficulties. Uh, the mini map is not as useful as it once was because we can no longer see zombies um, on the mini map. So we're gonna have to really use our visuals, make sure we're keeping track of what's around us, um, and use a little bit of stealth because we don't want to run into an issue uh, because we can't see what's what's on the map. First thing we're going to do is get up here and do a survey of the area. We already have a waypoint marked on the map. Whoa. Alright, we didn't need all that, Jordan, but okay. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and survey this area. So we have some ammo, but we have no guns. Off to a great start. Gonna try to hit up whatever we can to search. Try to be as quiet as possible. Even though in the beginning I don't think it's that big of a deal, we just don't want to underestimate this new difficulty. Maybe we can find some weapons. I was gonna say maybe we should go back to um, straight to the base, but I think we can handle what's out here right now. We are now full. And we can't switch to anybody at this point in time, so it might just be better to go ahead and move along. We got two rucksacks that we need to put into our base. We also have to clear the, the base, so we'll just go ahead and head over. Hey guys, look man, I made it. I'll report more in a bit. Okay, here we are. Gonna have to clear this bad boy. With a little bit of work, we could easily turn this place into a new base. This place looks good to me. All right. Time to stake our claim and move in before we someone else shows up. All clear, you guys. So, I claim this home plan. site. Our first priority has to be gathering materials. 
We'll need them to improve this place. How about you scout an area for us? Alright, I want to find the person that has the other rucksack so that I can switch to them. I'm looking for an extra body out there. You want in? I'll be right behind you. Alright, so we gotta climb to the top of a nearby tower, which is something we already did. I was kind of hoping that we wouldn't have to do it again. Um, but I think... I think that while we do this, we can go ahead and clear out some stuff. So while that's running, we'll head over to this scouting Yo, point for a bit. and try not to try not to die. Um, like I said, on foot, we're not going back for any vehicles. We can search vehicles. Uh, we can uh, hop on top of vehicles if we get into any type of uh, sticky situation, but we cannot drive vehicles to get to a mission or an objective. We cannot use vehicles to relocate. Um, we essentially just will not have vehicles, and I don't know how dangerous or good, or I mean not good, this is not good at all, but I don't know how dangerous or uh, difficult this can get uh, by not using vehicles but we're gonna see and again we are in the dread zone so hopefully um hopefully this series will last a while we're gonna continue it until that's a big horde coming this way we're gonna continue it until you know our community is completely wiped out and when the community is wiped out that'll be the end of the series I've been out here before it's pretty is there anything to search up here? Not really. Oh yes there is. Here we go. Ah, I forgot to empty my my uh, my bag. You know what? Let's go ahead and switch to homegirl because and this is the person that has the has the rucksack that I was looking for. It didn't show her as she was sitting down with it. So that's crazy. All right, yeah, this is definitely a better position to survey. Um, it's telling us how to survey. Surveying from a tower fills your map with locations. Open your map and examine each icon to see what is available to scavenge. Use the information you collect to plan scavenging runs and outpost claims. So we're just gonna fly through this real quick. this thing before we drop down all right next thing we have to do next objective is to scavenge nearby site for rucksack materials um, and I'm gonna have to switch over to the other guy in order for me to pick up that rucksack. Actually, I can just give this to him. Let's do that. Alright, so how far is this away? It's crazy we have to go near a play card, but I'm thinking we should hit up some of these other places. Nah, we'll just go straight to where we need to go because I don't want to not have room for the rucksack. So let's make moves. Scream over there. None of us have a, a ranged weapon to get rid of them at this point. So we just have to be smart, stay away, stay hidden. I'm, ha I'm having a feeling that we should go into this barn at least just to see 
If we can get a hold of some ranged weapons really quick. Keep your voice down. You might not be the only ones in here. <sighs> Something's out there. Okay. There's a bunch of zombies out there. If we can stay quiet, we'll be okay. I'm sure I can put this here we go. Use. Let's equip this. And we have more ammo, but we're going to have to come back for it because we can't take any sex right now. Since our objective is to get a rucksack of materials. Well, I found something at least. More crossbow ammo. That's exactly what we need, since that's what we have. Seems to be clear. But we know that in this nearby barn, there's ammo and food that we can come back for. It looks like this place is cleared out. And we are full. So there's really not much reason to continue to loot. We have the crossbow ready and equipped. So let's just head straight for the objective to see if we can find some materials. We will still scavenge because I want to try to find the follow survivor, the following survivor, I forgot what his name is. Um, Find him a ranged weapon as well. Looks like this is it. We'll search this house next. Hopefully we find building materials in this little shed. <laughs> no sign of creepers here. Great. Yep. Oh, I'm finished. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, so we're good. We got the building materials that we need. We should probably just head back to base. Um, I do want to go ahead and check out this house since it's on the way back. Really want to find as many ranged weapons Seems as possible. Quick look around in here. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and switch of course I'll go with you. to the guy that doesn't have any ranged weapon right now. <laughs> See if we can get him something. Got some zombies in here. Go ahead and take this guy out. You guys look at the Xbox. OG Xbox sitting here on the desk. I wish we could take it. <laughs> No space for any of this stuff. Like I said, we'll we'll come back and and pick up as much stuff as possible once we have the space. I don't know how I'm going to manage inventory, manage scavenging, all that stuff uh, without a vehicle. It's going to be interesting. Trying to make some. Um, priorities here. Ammo is obviously the better thing to get, but we don't even have a gun for that type of ammo yet, so I'll just keep the chemical materials for now. If I find something that I can use that ammo with in here, obviously I'll go back and grab that ammo. And we already have chemicals. One more container. Doesn't look like there's going to be any hey, weapons in here. But that's all right. All done here. Yep, just some circuitry. We don't have space for that right now. All right, so let's get on back to base. Drop these rucksacks off. Drop all this inventory off, and see what we have next.
huge horde over there. We're gonna have to really be smart about this. I would go ahead and use this Molotov. But they're too spread out. So we're just gonna mind our business and head on back to the base. These should be helpful. I picked them up while I was out. Nice, she's picking up stuff. Even though her inventory is full. We like to see that. Alright, should for the most part be a clear shot up to the house. I'm running out of steam. Alright you guys, we made it back to the base. I'm gonna drop off these materials uh, and ammo that we picked up we'll go ahead and drop the rest of this stuff on in here we'll switch over to her and also drop off all the stuff that she has it's time to get building either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start And now we get to build something with the materials that we picked up. So we have uh, eight materials. Um, we have two slots available. We can clear this slot. Um, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's just make use of the ones that we have available right now. Um, I, we don't have a doctor. So I don't know that the infirmary would make a lot of sense. We can actually build both. Um, so that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and start off. Um, let's start off with the workshop. Stay safe. I'll be there soon. So we're going to um, go ahead and and let that run. We'll build something else uh, when we get back. Once that's done, I don't want to draw too much attention to where we are, considering we don't have that many people. We only have three people. Um, and we don't have any firearms or anything like that, so we need to make sure we're good and able to protect ourselves before we start making all types of noise. Okay, but we have another objective. We have to talk to Nagako, uh, the campers, uh, to learn what their group needs. Um, and they are, they are here. They're not too far, and while we're on the way, we'll go ahead and hit those places that we saw some items, but we didn't pick them up because we didn't have space. So we'll go ahead and make that happen, and while we're doing that, I'm going to start making use of this crossbow and get my skills up with it, because in my last, uh, my last community, I didn't really do a lot with the crossbow, just because um, I felt like, you know, when you're in a time where a bunch of zombies are running up on you and you you need something a little quicker and I didn't have the rapid fire crossbow at the time nice I don't know that we will have use for fuel Especially since we won't be having cars. Sounds like we have a horde over there somewhere. A big group is not. Yeah, there they are. I see them. So, again, keep it quiet, as quiet as possible. This is a lot, so we're bound to get some noise. This place seems safe for now. Maybe someone would want this. Definitely some good stuff. I'm hoping to find another ranged weapon. I think I'll take that. I think that's all I'm going to find here. I'm not gonna pick up any more of the the propane tanks. We we got a few of them. And we need to reserve as much space as possible. Let's make sure uh, we're not we're not heading in the general direction of where we need to go, so Damn, is it really on the other side of the mountain? I was going in com the completely wrong direction. I could have just took the street and followed these houses. So let's make a beeline back to this area over here. And um, 
loot the houses that are on the way instead of going around the way I was going. So I saw a crossbow bolt drop with this guy. It's great. It's good to know that we can get some of it back. So I'm thinking I'm gonna head on over. It looks like our workshop is done, but I'm going to head on over to the objective and see what these people need. It's starting to get dark. And I want to at least have the objective out of the way um, before things start to turn up. You guys know it gets, it, it gets a little bit more intense at night. More zombies are out. More freaks are out. Looks like we have a horde of some sort there. So we're going to go around the back of the house. It is so weird not being able to see them on the mini-map, you guys. It's crazy. Definitely make things feel a little bit more eerie. Uh, a little more unsuspecting. You know, you can be coming up on a screamer and you wouldn't even know it. Or you can be coming up on a feral. Alright, so this must be it. This must be these people right here. Not too far. We can loot stuff on the way back. I actually want to know what this is over here. Okay, I don't I don't know that we really need luxury items at this point. Wanna try to keep it strictly resources, stuff that we'll need. And I really wanna make room uh for it, stuff that's important. Mm, I don't think we need that blade. We got a curious zombie rolling up. Alright, let's make it over to these uh these Campers, see what they got going on. Hello. Would you like to come in? Of course, we like to come in and take your stuff. All right, I guess that's it. Who am I supposed to be talking to here? How's it going? All right, we're trying to gather play samples, but we're a little short. All right, we'll go find the a... safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. Gotcha. There's a plague heart nearby. That whole area should be crawling with infected zombies. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. Gotcha. That's more dangerous. This gotcha. This won't be easy, so you should bring the best equipment you have on hand. Gotcha. Helping out like this is a good way to make friends. They sound like the same person. <laughs> All right, so we don't have the equipment to take down a play cart, at least not heavy. in dread mode. From my understanding, things are going to be a little bit more difficult. So we need to, you know, we need to armor up our crew. We need to. Whoa, are they fighting inside? Oh my gosh! Craziness is happening over there. But um, we need to armor up our people. It's only three of us. We need to get our base together. So hopefully this mission sticks around long enough for us to get... Um, you know what? I feel like I can trade with them. I'll be right behind you. Grab these luxury items. And trade with them. Oops. <gasps> Oh, we need to get some eight slot backpacks, people. This is this is not working. Damn, can't trade with anybody until we um, finish missions, I guess. Let's check out this shed. Well then, moving on. Alright, so I switched back to Claudia simply because she's the one with the ranged weapon <laughs> in case anything goes down. 
So this play card must be um, the one that they're talking about. Oh no, there's two. There's two. But like I said, we don't have it right now. We don't have the ability to do any of that stuff right now. What we need to do is find somewhere that would have weapons. Equipment shed. There's a lot of stuff over here. I think the safest bet, closest bet, is to do all of the houses in the area of our base. Let's go ahead and start with this thing. Sounds like something big is going on over here. Horde of some sort. We have to find weapons. We have to search. I'm thinking they're behind that gate where that riot gear zombie is. I'm not seeing any more of them. They might be heading this way. Oh, they're on the way. They're on the way. Oh, they're on the way. Let me give him this rucksack. Oh, it's pretty heavy. There's something out there. It hurt us, but it didn't come in. Can't find anything. Sheesh. That guy. Fuck. Oh look, we got a play sample. We might be able to turn right back around and do the, finish up this mission. And I'm done. All right, that's great and all. Oh, well, I guess we'll go ahead and head back. We're right here. We might as well do it. Oh, look, we found some rucksacks over here, whatever that is. Some duffel bags. Hopefully it was a survivor with a gun. Come on, somebody give us some weapons here. Nothing. Liquor? We'll come back for it because, um... Go for it. Actually, let's go ahead and... I'll be right behind you. He might have something we can drop. We want to have some luxury items on us. Just because um, we'll be able to trade with these people, get some influence. Uh, maybe even trade for some weapons. Maybe they have some weapons on them. So let's see. Hello. You looking to trade? Sure. Sounds good. They have no weapons. Nothing. We have some coffee. We weren't even talking to each other when things went bad. Well, it's not an eight slot backpack, but it's one extra slot and we can definitely use it. So perfect. Um, we'll head back in the direction of the base. Hopefully we can stop and uh, so, is that a friendly face? find a weapon. We, we really haven't ran into any other ranged weapons outside of the crossbow that we came across luckily. Um, so let's see if we can find some more. Keep friendly here. Think before you speak. I think it's a good idea to switch back into Claudia. I'll be right behind you. Yeah, we need, we need to be able to shoot stuff so. It sounds like something is over the hill. There's a horde somewhere. We just cannot see it. But we can hear it. Welcome to nighttime on State of Decay 2. Like I said, I, I don't know if we'll have any use for gas cans since, since we can't uh, use any vehicles in this series. But I'm picking it up anyway, just to, just in case. Ooh, ooh, ooh! This might be a weapon right here. Oh, I 
I found something at least. Oh, just more ammo. Just more ammo. Let me switch to him. Um, what Paul. I'll be right behind. Switch to Paul and we can pick up this stuff. Not that we have the most room with this guy either. Inventory management is going to be a huge issue with this series. We do not have space. We're going to have to make use of outposts all over the place in order to, you know, manage inventory without needing to go back and forth to the base. So outposts are going to be very important in this series. And we're going to see, you know, what issues we run into without having a vehicle. Let's go ahead and switch back to Claudia. And let's head to the next location to where we can loot some stuff. This place has meds. It makes sense to just go ahead. It's right next door. And we're close to base if we need to drop off some stuff. Continue our hunt for weapons. Yeah, definitely locked. Luxury items again. Storage management is best friend live for gonna be an issue. Dreamed of going pro. One person's knee basically exploded. Sometimes having a dream is dangerous. There's not really anything else to find here. Right, so that's it. We know there's meds here if we need them. I'm thinking since we're so close to base, we should just head to the house. And drop this stuff off, make some space, and then we'll continue our hunt. Now these are these are um, bee towers, or I don't know what they call them, but there's bees and there's chemicals in that one. More luxury items. You can always come back for this stuff. More luxury items. Let's see what's in the shed. I think I shot him. Potato wing. Did not mean to do that, Paul. My bad. I should keep searching. All right. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. When they say resources are scarce, they mean that shit in dread, you guys. It's a problem. We found one ranged weapon this whole time. I'm hoping we can find something out, out here to search real quick. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> it's so slow. Nothing to quickly search here, so let's just go ahead and drop this stuff off. We may even switch out from this character to the other, uh, the third character that we have here. And continue the search for a ranged weapon because we're really going to need it. Alright, so we're racking up on materials. Our folks are tired, are, we're tired, we're tired, we're tired. So this is done. 
we'll go ahead and I feel like we should have a garden. We don't have anybody that Oh, we have someone that's ready to, to specialize in something though. Discipline, increase stamina, light encumbrance limit, and weapon durability, increase scouting range, enemy detection. Um, if I do this, she'll have the ability to see zombies on her mini map, and I definitely want to have that. Uh, even though having increased stamina, light encumbrance limit, and weapon durability is very important. We're going to go ahead and go with scouting just so we can have that mini map. I think it's really important. So let's do it. All right. So we're all ready. We're just going to search a few more um, spots to see if we can find a ranged weapon. I know these characters are tired. They're like at half stamina. But we have to at least, at least try to find something. Oh, look at the scouting. She can see that guy laying there. Love it. That's a screamer. Let's not make it upset. Yeah, we want to handle that now. hoping for. No ranged weapon, you guys. They're they're nowhere to be found. I'm I'm starting to think it was sheer sheer luck. I'm starting to think it was sheer luck that I found this crossbow because there is nothing coming up. Set up an outpost here. Sound like there's a horde somewhere, maybe in the next house. I should keep searching. Sounds like they came in. searching here. On to the next spot. Still no oh. Still no ranged weapon, but it looks like we got a whole bunch of zombies. They start jumping over this fence, we're gonna have a problem. Fingers crossed I'll find something. Shit. Yeah, definitely locked. Oh fuck, it doesn't let me get out of this once I'm in it. I should be more careful. 
Ooh, I'm telling you, the mini map saves lives. We we need to have scouting. It's so important. That's not going to fit. I'm gonna switch to him. What up? I'll be right behind you. I know he has space. He doesn't have to worry about dropping, picking up stuff, and so on. And I need to up his wits as much as I'm upping hers. The only reason I'm using her is because she's the only one with the range weapon. What am I supposed to do? Hell yeah. I get a little bit braver during the daytime Breathe easy. No more creepers here. because I can see. <laughs> At night it is very, very, very dark. Like it's way darker than the first state of decay. And you have to, you know, you have to keep your head. You got to make sure you can see. You can mess around and get yourself in a sticky situation if you're just playing around like nighttime is not a big deal. Oh, here's this. It's probably gas. We're not going to need it. Zombie in the pool. <clears throat> Alright, nothing here. Let's let's just head to the next place. We gotta keep looking, at least the places nearby. <clears throat> gotta search at least the places nearby to see what we can get. I think we both have rucksacks and Fuel right now isn't something that we need. Have to evenly distribute the experience across your, your community so that everybody can be be leveled up. Yo, we have no We don't have any meds. So let's drop it. Oops. We'll drop this rucksack, take the med rucksack, that way we can up our um, our morale. Right now it's low because some of our stuff is in the red. Some of our resources are in the red, medicine being one of them. We have plenty of building materials. We can always come back for this, so we're gonna take the meds. Nothing. More meds. Good to know. So if we need more, we can come back for them. Yeah, it's time to look elsewhere. All right, that's that. We know there's some rucksacks in here for building materials and food. We will make moves when we can make moves. All right, let me see. We went there. We went there. There's just a vehicle, and then there's this roof tin warehouse that's at the end of the street. I think that's the last thing we can check out. Let's do it. I'm so damn tired. Yeah, these 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 guys are tired. I think the house is right across the street, so we'll do another stop. Drop this stuff off. Oh, there's the horde. It's right across the street from the base. Not good. Alright, we're stable at least. Now we just we actually just do need fuel. Alright, one last search, you guys. If this place doesn't yield a ranged weapon. Then, then we're just in some trouble. We are in some trouble. It, it's really never been this hard to find a ranged weapon or a gun of some sort, and this is proving to be a challenge. And this is only Dread Zone, so I can't even imagine what it's like in Nightmare trying to find weapons. It's kind of crazy. 
Ooh, potato. Missy potato head. Missy's potato head here. Shooting off these potato shots. Another horde coming down the block. I'm not seeing any more of them. Now, if any place is gonna have weapons, it needs to be this place. Like honestly. Oh, I said I want to try to help him with his wits. Of course, I'll go with you. Get his wits up. I don't know if I'm gonna give everybody scouting or not. I mean, it's helpful, but I think you just have to learn to play. You have to have to learn to play knowing that you won't get any warning about what's in your area. You have to use your sight and sound. So I think that's an interesting way to play. I don't think I want to give every character scouting. Yo, it doesn't look like there's going to be any weapons in this place. Nope. Nothing, you guys. Nothing. Oh, this could be good. This could be good. This could be a good. This could be good. Looks like some sort of military thing was here. Well, we can use ammo. You can never get enough ammo. You'll be okay. Claudia, don't complain. Damn, I can't search anything else. Yes! Finally a gun! Second second range weapon of this series, you guys. I'm not gonna fire it because it's mad loud. I'm gonna switch back over to Claudia. But alright, we have a second range weapon. That is really all I was hoping to come across here before I ended this video. And we got it. We're good. We're, we're a little bit safer. Now that we have a second range weapon, we just gotta really keep an eye on our ammo and, you know, and the durability of our weapons. Since it's so hard to find weapons, we're really gonna have to, you know, make sure our durability is on par with these weapons. Make sure we're repairing and not just scrapping and all kinds of stuff. Let's get back to base, see if there's any other upgrades we can do to our characters, drop off these materials, and um, make sure everybody's in, in good standing. Ooh, tired. Both of them are really, really tired. I'm not able to do that. And <laughs> Snacks can't even help her because she's on the brink of exhaustion right now. Only a sliver of stanima left. And this Yo, is. Man, I've been working way too hard around here. I know, I know. I know. We need more people. We need to take our other character, uh, Survivor, out that has not been taken out at all. Uh, so far, two people have ranged weapons. And uh, we're running out of materials. So um, we need to go ahead and start. We need to go ahead and start uh, building some stuff around here so that we don't run out of space for our building materials. I've got your back. So well, let's drop off this ammo. Yep, we gotta we gotta upgrade our storage. Period. There's a horde just walking on by. We needed that ammo for this gun. Oh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and build a... Let's see what people want. Nothing upgraded for this guy. Let's take a look at the base. Wow, teeming zombie population, dread zone. This issue affects everyone. So simply being in the dread zone gives you a negative more 10 in morale. That is out of control. This is something you really gotta take into consideration of how it can affect your community. Crazy, just madness here. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and build this in infirmary uh i'm actually just not knowing if i if i want to do an infirmary i don't know that we have a need for it just now i mean obviously to you know what i'm not even gonna play games i'm gonna go ahead and build it because we are going to need to build uh, or create the plague here bottom line we're gonna need it for sure if we're gonna be taking on um plague hearts Running low on meds. Oh, I guess it costs meds to. Yeah, it did. It costs meds to build this. Um, and we're also going to go ahead and clear this. So that's it, you guys. Um, it looks like she has something going on here. Um, if it is a mission, I don't want to do it just yet because. Yeah, she has something she wants to do. yeah so we're going to uh do that on the next the next episode of this series thank you guys for coming through and checking out this video i'm your girl mac queen 88 uh this is the no vehicle series state of decay 2 uh we'll be on foot this entire series we're gonna see how long before our entire community is white due to just needing to travel on foot um limited inventory space uh, due to not having a trunk or uh, a vehicle where we can transport stuff back and forth we're gonna see you know how viable uh, the situation here in the dread zone is without a vehicle anyways I will catch you guys on the next episode all right peace